state-owned enterprises are government commercial entities that are established for several purposes. The principal aim of setting up a state-owned enterprise is to protect the interests of the federal government and to serve as a source of revenue. State-owned enterprises can be found in telecommunications, in defense, in agriculture, in insurance, in credit, and also in, in petroleum or in energy more broadly. So looking at where these SOEs are contained, one can see that the federal government intends to secure its money. The federal government in, intends to ensure that its key revenue sources are protected and managed properly by the best entity in the country, which is the government. SOEs are established by the law to allocate and manage certain resources so as to ensure effective distribution of public goods. That's number one. Then number two, their operations are directly administered by the government. And number three, they are meant to generate revenue for the government. And on that revenue situation, their earnings are actually meant to be transferred to the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federal Government, according to the Fiscal Responsibility Act. So I think one of the ways to contextualize this issue of non well, minimal transparency and accountability with SOEs is to place it vis-a-vis -vis the revenue crisis that we currently have in Nigeria. And this is what I mean. So presently we have a 6.2 trillion naira deficit because of course our revenue cannot fund our expenditure. So we are looking at small loans and um, CBN support. And do not forget that currently we have, okay, well, as of September 2021, our total public debt stock was 38 trillion naira. And um, our current debt service to revenue ratio is about 87%. Suffice it to say that we've not even been able to meet up with our revenue projections since 2015. So yes, we have that crisis presently. But the federal government is also not without recourse, especially with revenue generation, because it has entities and firms that engage in commercial activities. And these activities are meant to bring in money and revenue. But we are not really getting what we are supposed to get from these entities. And why is that? The number of state-owned enterprises and the sectors in which they are contained, we can see that, I mean, from NNPC and NLNG alone, they occupy key sectors that are the highest revenue earners for the government. So it stands to reason that they, they need to be, uh, there, there needs to be a transparent regime, there needs to be an accountable regime guiding the fiscal management of these entities. in some form in the Federal Appropriation Act. As a matter of fact, a report soon to be published by budget will itemize just how many SOEs have their budgets published. So you have the revenue, you have the, so you have the expenditure allocations, you have how much will be given for capex, for capital expenditure, and for uh, recurrence, for personnel, and for overhead. At the same time, there is no information or there is no disaggregated information on how much these SOEs have brought to the Consolidated Revenue Fund because it is their duty by design. They are meant to bring money to the federal government and fund the federal government. Yes, we have this budget, but we do not have a breakdown of the budget and we do not have a breakdown of the revenue. So as we speak, we don't know how much of the budget is funded by their revenue or will be funded by their revenue and that leaves a lot of questions. And if you look at it generally, this is due, largely due to a lot of reasons. Number one, there's no working mechanism for enforcing the Fiscal Responsibility Act. The number two, um, there's no adherence to regulations in the budget call circulars issued by the budget office in the Ministry of Finance. And number three, there are no consequences for SOEs that do not you know, meet up with this criteria. So there are no blowbacks, there are no consequences, and that emboldens them to withhold information and not provide breakdown of their budget. Every year, these, these state-owned enterprises have to come and defend their budgets. And it would be interesting to see 
them actually being, you know, grilled by the National Assembly as to why they should be allocated a particular amount. They should demonstrate to the Nigerian people why, because of the revenue they may or may not have made, they are entitled to so and so allocation. Nigerians need to see a link between their expenditure and their income to justify the budgets that they are uh, that they have allocated to them. Executive oversight bodies need to provide stronger leadership. They need to insist and not only ask that this information be presented to them, but also that it be produced in disaggregated formats so that people, analysts, citizens in the media can access this information. A few years back, Nigeria signed up to the Open Government Partnership, thereby bringing itself under the, the framework of these open government principles. So we as citizens, we as those in the civil society space that are concerned about improving transparency and the quality of governance have seen that this is a major talking point uh, for us. Uh, quite or more importantly, looking at Nigeria's fiscal regime, uh, looking at the, the amount of revenue that has been made vis-a-vis -vis the amount of expenditure, it's obvious to anyone looking that there are huge deficits. As a matter of fact, Nigeria's deficit as of 2022 is about 6.39 trillion, 6.39 trillion naira, and that is very, very large. So the government desperately needs to find ways to plug leakages and ensure that its revenues, its income is being managed effectively. One of the ways by which that can be done is through the proper transparent and accountable management of state-owned enterprises.